Uh, oh yeah, yeah, hit it. Hey, what's up? It's Toaster Boy, and with me today is Emu Immunologist, which is very tough to say. It's Big BH. Okay, so within that that fiction, that's what that's in that's someone that inoc that that's yeah that's someone inoculates, that inoculates emus. emus. Okay, all right. That's but a very. But emu immunologist is tough to say. And I just said it wrong. I said immunologist wrong. I said immunologist. Immunologist. <gasps> huh? Nice. Don't fall in the poopy. I feel like there was a smarter way to do that, but it worked. Yeah. So. Start my life. Way back in the before times, the long, long ago. <laughs> uh. I was like, ah, you know what, there's a story that I really love telling, but I don't know if I'm allowed to tell it. Mm. Well, I spoke to my wife. I got clearance first because, like, you know, like, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to bring someone else's shit into the streets. Oh, yeah, I, I there's some that. up there. I deserve that. <laughs> um, if it was a Mario Maker level, there would have been a secret. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, hell, actually, if this is a, I, I feel justified in that assumption on that one. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, I'm, I'm gilding Lily here. Uh, Ooh. so there's a type of large bird that's very similar to an emu called a cassowary. I've heard of that. Yes. Yeah. So the th I'm, if you're if you're at home, go ahead and you know Google cassowary. Future Sean, throw up, a throw up a photo one. Yeah. Let's see that bitch. Make sure that we get some shots of their feet because their feet are literally dinosaur feet. Like it's just they're just fucking dinosaurs. I thought you had thing. a fetish. I mean. <laughs> Yo, gotta see them feet. Hey, you don't I'm have sorry to. Sorry for distracting. You don't have to pull me out. You don't have to call me out in the street. <laughs> I'm not judging. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm not judging. Yeah. I'm just, you know, it's, this guy waxed off to cassowary. Feet fuck. No. Yeah, just like that. Anyway, cassowary uh, feet fuck. So cassowaries are like dumb and violent, mm. like emus are, but like worse. Ooh. And I have this very personal thing. This. This dark, deep desire that I think is shared with some other folks. But you know how like if you're at the zoo and like you're at an enclosure and like like there's like a chipmunk or like a like a like a like a brown bird in there. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, some of that everyday shit that you did not pay like, you know, fifty fucking dollars to come see. Nice job with that one. Thank you. I, mushroom brother. <laughs> I gotta stop complimenting you. <laughs> Both just silent, like, oh shit. Fucking okay. <laughs> so yeah, um, I have this dark. I have this part of me that, like, if I hear a story about one of those like more domestic animals getting got by an, a zoo animal, I'm like, yeah, because they fucking deserve it. Mm -hmm. Like, no, I didn't come to see you. Like, it's not even that. Like, there's just something about it that it, it just it's gleeful to me. Mm -hmm. Like. Yeah, I'm gonna be able to do it again. Fuck yeah. So, take your time. This one day, my beautiful wife was working, and she got a call on the radio that she has to carry with her. That uh, it was from one of the other keepers, and the other keeper said, Hey, um, one of the cassowaries got a sparrow? <laughs> and that was the end of message. And. And you know, like, uh, oh uh, man. <sighs> okay, sorry. I need to pause after that. <laughs> oh god, I just, oh, my life just flashed before my fucking eyes. Ugh. So the radio message was, a cassowary got a sparrow, and Becky was like, uh, okay. Uh, is there like feathers everywhere? Like, do we need to do a cleanup? Mm -hmm. And she was, and the keeper was just like, nope, it's just, it's gone. And the reason why I love that story so much is not so much for what happened, but it's for what, like, in my brain, what that looked like. Because I'm just imagining this shit-eating, like, motherfucking, just like, I'm saying sparrow, but like, I, that's probably not the right kind of bird. But mm. you know the brown ones that you see all the fucking yeah, place yeah. in the Midwest? But like, those. Like, one of those, like, flew into this enclosure that, like, had to fly through, like, like a one foot gap mm -hmm. to get in, uh, to like land in their food bowl and start eating their food. Oh shit! And then like you know like puff up their chest and be like, "What? This is my food now!" And the cassowary is just like, 
Oh, you are just a fucking treat. Like, just kind of hangs back for a second. It's just like, this is really fucking happening. This is really fucking happening. All right. Yeah, this is really happening. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go ahead and eat. I, don't worry. I'll eat later. Jeez. I got, I got some shit to go right now. Did he just like Ugh. fucking like like did yeah. he chomp him or step on him? Yeah. Well, I mean, it, again, like that's just all of that last bit of like how it happened is headcanon for me. That's amazing. But I just, I just love that karmic justice of like, like a like a shitty bird getting mm -hmm. just like I don't know, I don't know. That's that's some like revenge porn stuff. Hell maybe. yeah. Like I don't know. It's. I that there's a very there's a part of me that is very petty. I will admit it. Like, you know, and it's, it's good that you can access that part of yourself because then you know how to work with it. I know how to work with it. Yeah. And I also know how to shut it down. Yes, I know how yeah, to, exactly. Like, put it to bed and say like, okay, like that's, right. we can feel this later. We can giggle about this at another time. But right now, we're at a hockey game or something. <laughs> I don't know. I've oh well, I've been to a hockey game. I don't know. Uh, it's just the first thing that came to my mind. Mm. Um, the funnest example of that karmic justice and my favorite story of all time is uh, uh, stop me if I told this one before because mm -hmm. like it's going to be really recent for these guys listening. Um, Monty Mall. I was driving down a road and you know just going essentially going speed limit. Mm -hmm. Typically I'm definitely the kind of person I go five above yeah. because you know because that's reasonable. It's reasonable and like you know anecdotally like cops aren't going to pull you over over five yeah and i'm just trying to get somewhere i know this area well yeah whatever um so i'm did, going did to you save after that castle died I, that save? I i don't recall to be uh, honest i'm um, just sorry i was just curious real quick yeah uh so i'm like just going along just going mm -hmm. speed limit sure 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 and this guy like comes up behind me going very fast and is like Doing like the kind of like trying to go sh side to side, like, like oh, I want you to move, and I'm just like, I can't go. I'm not gonna go faster. Fuck you. Like mm -hmm. I'm like this is an acceptable speed for me to go, so I'm gonna keep going this speed. So of course he like, like whips around me and like passes by me, and I'm like, I had this moment of like, you know what? Most days I think I'd be angry, but something about just today, I'm just like. I just hope he gets wherever he needs to go safely. I just really just need, like, I don't, it doesn't bother me at all. Like, I just had like a real zen moment about That's it. That's awesome. Like, and it was like really nice. And then like, nice job. two minutes up the road, I saw him pulled over by a cop and I immediately felt like, yes, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, guy. Oh, you're the worst. Oh, you deserve every second of it. Oh, you deserve it. Yes. Mm. Oh, that that is beautiful karmic justice. Because it I never. Love that shit. And I'm convinced it's because I had that moment afterwards of like, Whatever. you know what? Everyone's just doing their own thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on with this guy's life. This person's life. They're like, like who? Like they're probably like in a rush to get somewhere. Like. You see, when you just calm down and just talk through things, you do dope shit like just... Okay, well, there I was getting big-headed, and that's why that happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was amazing. <sighs> okay. No, but I, I absolutely, completely understand. Like, yeah. Yeah, like, like, yeah, if you'd gotten mad, that would have been, like... It, it would have... Your anger would have ruined the, uh, the cop pulling him over. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Like then it then it, I, I don't there's got to be a name for that like like psychologically it's, oh karma like well no, no like, the, the idea that like if I hadn't if if I'd gotten mad he would not have gotten his comeuppance or like like oh, like oh I see like the the idea that like your emotional reaction had like an impact on the world or like on events or something yeah, fuck I knew it too uh yeah like uh, I know that I there has to be first yeah. of all right and like there's a part of me that feels like I learned it at some point. I mean, and it's it's just a fallacy, right? Totally. Like, there's, but it makes you feel amazing, right? It's powerful. It, yeah. Is coincidence the word? I mean, I no. Mean, it's, it, it, it basically yeah. is a coincidence, but like, it makes you it makes you feel like you have like, oh, there's some control there's in, in of, my life that like, yeah, there's some level of agency, and like, mm -hmm. it's uh, it it might be helpful if it's like, you know, take your time. Um, if there's 
Like, you know what? If I'm calm and, like, able to, like, de-stress myself from a situation, good things happen. Yeah. If that's the attitude that you need to, like, nice. like kind of not force yourself to de-stress because I feel like that's... Kind that's of an kind of, oxymoron. That's it's kind impossible. of a fun, like, yeah, it's a fun oxymoron. Um, but if you're able to, like, get yourself to that spot, like, people, like, it's, I, no, there's no question in anyone's mind. Like, everyone does a little bit better at whatever they're doing when yeah. they're able to just, like, not get too terribly stressed out about it. Absolutely. I think that there's a very natural performance anxiety that you can get, like, you need, you need a little bit of like that jitter, I feel yeah, like, to like summon yeah. the energy and the focus, but not in the way that's like, I'm furious, because that just distracts you. The fury exactly. distracts you. Yeah. yeah. Anger I, I, clouds your judgment. <laughs> <laughs> You're arrogant. <laughs> all right, now remember, don't jump all the way over nope. again right mm -mm, away. Mm -mm. Cool. All right, We're on the same page. I, I appreciate the reminder, <laughs> but believe me, I... Uh, nope. Not I gonna get it. I want you to win. Oh god, was he gonna cr okay, I thought he was gonna like crush you on the ceiling. What? Oh. No. All right. All right. That's fine. If you think it's fine, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll be back with more. More. I think the next 10 minutes are gonna either kill me or I'm gonna just reach a state of I'm gonna ascend to Nirvana or some <laughs> shit. Some kind of pure pure bliss. Mm. What do you think Nirvana tastes like? Kurt Cobain? Well, probably like decaying flesh at this point. <laughs> That's a perfect answer. <laughs>